โอเคเดี๋ยวนะดังไว้ดังไว้ดังไว้ดังไว้โอเคโอเคดังไว้ดังไว้ดังไว้สู้ไว้สู้ไว้เห็นไหมเออกะให้อยู่ไว้ใจเย็นใจเย็นใจเย็นใจร้อนใจเย็นๆให้มันเหนื่อยก่อนเหนื่อยแล้วมันจะมีปัญหาอีกอยู่ไม่รู้ง่ายๆลูกเบ็ดตัวนี้ระวังอย่าไปจับอันนั้นนะอยู่อยู่เดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวให้มันเหนื่อยก่อนหมันไหมหมันไหมเย็นใจเย็นอ่ะสวิงมาสวิงมาให้ผมชอนเองชอนเองฮะอย่าอย่าอย่าใจเย็นใจเย็นอ๋อใจเย็นใจเย็นใจเย็นใจเย็นใจเย็นเดี๋ยวมันก็เหนื่อยเลยใจเย็นเย็นใจเย็นอ๋อใจเย็นเออว้าฮ่าโอ้โหปากเอกเลยว้ายฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟูฟู Hits the waves, it creates a little bubble, almost like a pop sound, you know. So it's a bit of a buzz bait, a bit of a popper, a bit of a minnow lure, all rolled into one with a single hook to reduce the weeds snagging onto it. Best way for me to fish for giant snakeheads in heavy cover conditions is with this. I use an Abu Garcia volatile rod, a uh, seven footer, 1020 weight. It's great because you know it's got that nice soft tip for the good casting action, but also it's got a nice solid backbone. It's one piece. And it's great for bringing them out of the rough. Now, as for the reel, I'm, a, you, I'm using a pen conflict. So the whole thing's made out of metal. It's, some parts are hollowed out to reduce weight. But here you got a reel that's extremely durable, extremely tough, and it spins at 6.2 to 1 ratio. So a lot of people like to use bait casters for their buzz baits here in Thailand. But I, I prefer a spinning reel simply because you can haul a much bigger load with a spinning reel like this one than a low profile bait caster. Maybe a, a regular bait caster work better, but I'm using that along with a 50 pound fireline braid. It's great for heavy cover, cuts through the weeds, forces the fish right out. It's great action. So why don't we go do some fishing with some of the stuff we got here? Hi, Donna. Hi, Donna. ตักเองไหมแน่นอนตักเองโอเคมิชันน่องเลยหลอกน่องเลยเดี๋ยวเข้าป่าหลอกน่องเลยหลอกน่องตักเองนะตักเองเลยเอาตัวนี้ตักเองเลยโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหว้าวช่วยผมพากเหรอ This one's a monster. Great fighter. But he's coming home now. Oh, oh, okay, not yet, not yet. หมุนรอกอีกหน่อยพี่ยาวไปตัดยากเลยมันไม่เข้ามานะต้องหมุนมาอีกหน่อยเอาให้ได้ระยะตัดไม่ต้องพากพี่เดียวตัดต่อ Okay. Oh, 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 oh
Oh my god, that's a fat fish. There you go, folks. Giant snakehead caught on the bus minnow, hitting heavy covers, and immediately swam out. That's the nature of the snakehead when the water levels are decreasing. So when everything's drying up and all the water's going down, they go to the shallows to hunt for small fish. Once they take the bite, they try to swim out. So this guy took my lure, swam right out. It's really hard to set the hook at first, but got to reel really quickly, double set that hook, and boom. Feisty fella, gonna unhook it, let it go. Catch and release, folks. ตัวเนี่ยโอ้มันเยอะจัด Another one for the buzz minnow. Dad, man, here for more men. Kong, you know. There you go. Another one of the buzz minnow, or a buzz minnow. This one's a bit smaller than the previous one, but look at the colors. This is called blah blah. This is what snakeheads look like naturally when they're not spawning. No pre-spawn colors. These are the strongest of all the snakeheads. So much muscle, so much aggression. As you guys saw, they just went straight for the weeds. But oh, <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. Let's let this guy go. Always oh, good to do it nice and quick so it comes out. Okay. Catch him with these. Oh, oh man. They're so angry. I you love that? it. <laughs> you, you live? What is it? Oh, 
Yes. Fish on! Oh, fish off! Oh, no. Fish on! Well, here we go. Not too big, I reckon just about two kilos, not three. Uh, you know, came into a little bay area, did some topwater fishing with the old bus minnow, boom! Yeah! <laughs> well, catch and release. God damn, I love top water fishing.